We straight? We live? Uh, yes, we are. What's up, y'all? Faked out moments. You understand? You throw a pass fake, the dude go the other way. We'll see how this goes. Um, I this is the same guy that creates all of the Charlotte Hornets clips. So let's let's see if there's any Charlotte Hornets. I'm wearing Charlotte Hornets colors. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into it. Chris Paul better been here a bunch because this man is a king of the fake out. Rudy Gobert, two time defensive player of the year, where had the man turning around and hit the shot because nothing is good unless the shot goes in afterwards let's keep it a buck you can cross somebody up make them fall make them break the ankles but if the shot does not go in none of it matters moody moody hit him with the rondo now that credit i'm always gonna get credit to rondo for that move i don't know if he was the first to ever do it but he was the one to perfect it in my eyes trey young with the i talked to trey young about this play and he said eventually that that people are gonna start realizing that he's gonna do the behind the back to himself pass, and I'm sure people will catch on to it eventually. And he don't got he gonna have to switch up his signature move. Donovan Mitchell. Okay, the fake pass to Rudy. Derek Favors. Look the malls. Look at that. Boop. Derek Favors. Split decisions. Nice. Oh, Kemba. Mmm. That happened so fast. I didn't realize what was happening. Oh, Shea Brissett, Brissett, right? That's his name? DZ Augustine gets him back. Wow, Trey, where are you looking at? Where are you looking at? Oh, man, that's a great move for DJ Augustine. Kyrie. Mm. Did somebody tell me what the name of that move is? Because I've been wondering. I always call it a sham guy, and people say I'm wrong. So let me know what that move is. Lonzo. B.I. Oh, my God, Willie Cauley Stein. What are you doing? Oh, that was smooth, Slenderman. That was smooth. Okay, D'Angelo Russell, the up. Yeah, I remember this one. Yes, I remember this one. And then the high floater. I'm first of all, big pause right here. I miss this team. I know we only got to see like one season of them, and they made it to the playoffs and lost to Philly. But I miss this team. The dancers on the bench. D'Angelo Russell being the uh, All Star. Jared Dudley being an enforcer. The fro going up and challenging LeBron. It was so much that happened with this Brooklyn Nets team last season, and I miss it because it's not the same now that Kyrie and KD. I'm not saying that it's worse. I'm not saying that it's better. It just doesn't have the same feel, the same camaraderie that it had when all of these guys were together. That's all. That's all. I really loved watching this team last season. Really loved watching this team last season. Either way. Next. Drew Holiday. Oh, Todd. Rick. Mm, real quick, real quick with it. Aaron Gordon. To himself, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To himself. I've seen this one a few times. That is a fake out moment for sure. For sure. 100% certainty of a fake out moment. Derek White, no good. Uh oh. We got some West Russell Westbrook. Fast break. Not many people better than him. Not many people better than him in the fast break. You see PG do the do the soccer move, hit the ball off of his head. Mmm. Oh, LeBron. Oh, LeBron. Okay, Ben Simmons. Just a little, hey, all it took it was a little bit of hesitation. Had Mate, right? Was that Mate? Oh, that was Malik Beasley. Going the other direction. Shea. Hey, I'm going to keep it, keep it honest with you. Dwight Howard recovered really fast. For an old man, he recovered real fast and almost got the block. Almost got the block. Ja, y'all know. Ja's. A crafty dude. Wow. Wow. The hang time to leave. First of all, you're not supposed to leave your feet to throw a pass, but it worked out because he found Brandon Clark, who is a, a crazy athlete too. That happened so fast. I didn't even get to see what happened. Oh, Troy Williams. Yannis. Uh-oh. Get up, Dante. The Statue of Liberty dunks from Giannis are ridiculous. I'm telling you, his hands you be over the the box. It's over the box. Y'all know who, who we're talking about now. Kyrie. That just happened so fast. The fake out to lob is real quick. Come on, keep it with Kyrie Irving. Yes, I love it. I'm telling you, if I could take the basketball ability of any NBA player, it has to be Kyrie. It has to be. I'll take personally be I'll personally take having Kyrie over being LeBron because 
I'm 5'7", and me being LeBron, it's not going to help at 5'7". But me having the handle of Kyrie Irving at 5'7 would be nasty. The craftiness would be nasty. 5'8", 5'8". JT, Jason Tatum. Mm. I tried to do that move in the driveway, too. I'm not as smooth with it. And my driveway is not even, too. So I'm playing at a disadvantage. Mm. Throw it down. I was at this game because my short king. Could you see me? Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to see something. Because this is where, in this area, is where my seats are. So would you be able to see me? Literally, I would. I mean, I guess I would have been right there. Was I not? Attending this game. I could have swore I went to this game because Isaiah Thomas was playing. Either way, that's where my seats were. But uh, I'm, I did not renew my season tickets. There's Rondo. We had to get a Rondo play. Had to. I know he's old and everything, but he, he's still faking people out in old age. He still is. James Harden. Robert Covington Garden. And one. Isaiah Hardenstein. Between, so he faked out two people. He faked out Roko, made a fall. Faked out Gorgie Zhang, threw between his legs. Y'all saw um, how much weight that man has lost? I know y'all saw it. I need to see him on the court. Because James Harden's a dude that uses his body, you know, a lot. So to see him lose weight, see how it affects his game. Luca, Paul Millsap. May I have this dance. Oh, man. Got him once. He recovered and got him again. Whew. Nasty. Tobias Harris with a move? Okay. Hit that baseline. You don't give up baseline. Leonard, he know that. He's been playing basketball for a long time. You definitely don't give up baseline on a dude that's faster than you. Darren Collison. Mm, you remember that series? I think that went all the way to seven. Oh, my God, the rookie. Darius Garland. Rookie on rookie crime. Oh, rookie on rookie crimes. Darius Garland with a move. Ja. I miss basketball, man. I miss basketball more than anything. I'd rather, I'd rather not see my barber for three years just to see one live game of basketball. People, are, everybody talking about, oh, they need to shape up, they need to see their barber. I agree, but I'd much rather have basketball back at this moment than have a haircut. I'm just keeping honest with each other. I, I need more basketball. There's only so many times I can react to highlights, man. I need to see it live. On oh, the Bulls, Nikhil. There's another rookie on rookie action. Whoo! That's double rookie on rookie action. You got this rookie matchup, Nikhil and Kobe. Then you got Daniel Gaffer versus uh, Jackson Hayes. Double rookie on rookie action. Troy Young, he twin his legs again. I was, I was literally at this game. I was at this game. And you know what I did? I texted my people at House of Highlights. I was like, Trey Young just did something that you need to post on the IG. Literally. I was at this game. This is the day before my interview with him. And I had to ask him about it. Like, because him and Michael Porter Jr. are real close friends. So he faked out his homie. You know what I'm saying? Ja, the up and number scoop. I need to get to Memphis to watch him play live. Because when he came to Chicago, he didn't play. Oh, Vince Carter. 43? Couldn't tell. Couldn't tell. Nasty. Boogie. Hey man, he's slow with it, but he got he, hey, he got him, he got him. Uh oh, uh oh, Seth Curry on the break, Seth Curry on the break, Iggy on the side. Kevon Looney, get well soon, Kevon Looney. I don't remember what happened to him. I just know he was injured, so get well soon. Gary Harris, a little fake out and the yam over Hassan Whiteside for the first two of the game. That's the way to open it up for sure. That's the way to open it up. Oh, Ja again on the break. I saw this clip yesterday, and then he's so crafty. Nasty. Good matchup right here, man. Jaron Jackson Jr., hard left-handed slam. Uh-oh. We getting a play from Thad Young. <laughs> the fake away on Aaron. I mean, not Aaron. Justin Holiday, And then a dunk on Bagdatsi. Dwayne Wade. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, wait. Those shoes are beautiful, Wait, Those shoes are beautiful. 
Benny Ben, fake handoff, and he floated. He floated on that one. Look at him. Oof. Floated on there and hung on the rim. Nasty. LeBron. Hammer. Okay. Oh. Yeah, Maxi Kleber was right. I'm going to let the best three-point percentage shooter of all time get the ball over me, personally. Is that faking people out or is that just him being stronger than everybody? I don't know. Blake. Some oohs and ahs on that one. Jamal Murray. Good dish in. And he waited. Patience. Oh, my God. That's almost a 30-point game right there. That's almost a 30-point game right there, ladies and gentlemen. D-Book. Oh, clean. Clean. Super clean. Facts. Oh. Beautiful. Some more Jamal Murray. Hey, I'm going to keep it about Jamal Murray. be doing stuff like this, bro. I like Jamal Murray's game, man. I, I wonder if he's going to hit the next step, or is this the final version of him? I think he's, what, 24? So he's got plenty of time to get better. Um, but I'm, I'm sure I'm sure Denver Nuggets fans would love to see him get better because he could be the key to a very, very bright future. You know what I'm saying? Him and Michael Porter Jr., those are the two guys I'm rooting for on that team. Because I know Jokic is going to be Jokic. You know what I'm saying? You remember this game where Rodney Hood decided to come into the second overtime and basically drop like 20 points in a playoff game? Because I remember that. I remember like it was yesterday. He had the freshest legs in the building. His legs was fresher than even the fans. Because the fans were at least standing up. Cody Seller. Oh, man. That's a Kenny Hardaway teammate right there. He don't do that when Kenny Hardaway passes the ball. I'll tell you that much. Russell Westbrook. Paul George. Being, taking his time, man. Taking his time, man. That was a cool, that was a cool uh, dynamic duo for the, what, two, they played two seasons together? They were fun. They were definitely fun. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, as always, be sure to leave it a like. If you're new around here, be sure to subscribe because we're dropping bangers every single day. All right, I'm out. Peace.